I believe one of the most important principles in choosing your colors, often you'll look at a quilt and say, why did they put those colors together? Well, and yet it works. And it's really not about the colors, it's about the values. So you look at a design, darks, lights, mediums, and how that pops. If I had put a dark around this semi-dark, dinosaur I would have a whole different look and then in our next video you'll see how the different textures see how this little stripe is so different from the other textures and how you can use solids and I think that that will help you in also choosing the scale of your design uh, giving it texture another way of looking at value is high value to low value it's usually on a scale of 1 to 10. Here you can see the middle scale is the gray. And another way of thinking about it is if you were to take a painting and uh, turn it into a black and white, it's much easier to see lights, darks, and mediums. Well the same is true of quilts. So here we've got a low value, medium value, high value, and you can see how that flower pops because of the way the values were chosen. In this quilt, they're all high value colors, but it's all relative. So you're looking at values in relativity, which is really important in quilts. We wanted this pastel quilt for babies, but you still need contrast. So here we have a medium background and a light bunny, and that helps the bunny pop. And the pink is even a higher value. The bunny blends a little bit more. So Lights, darks, and mediums are so important, but it's a relativity to the other uh, colors around them. Now, another way of training your eye to see this is by using a red filter. And this can be used to show uh, the differences in value. Here you can see the pink bunny is pretty close together where the little bit darker purple background you can see quite a bit different using a red uh, filter and there are all kinds of red filters uh, this one has a little bit more of a intense red which makes it even better for recognizing the differences in values if I'm going to a quilt show and I don't want to pop this out to observe, here's a little keychain red filter that I can put up to my eye and right away I can catch the differences in value. Now in this Halloween collage you can see where value plays an important role. Here the purple helps the pumpkin to pop and even though um, this is not very dark. It's relatively darker than the orange. The witch, um, it's, it's, this is an interesting concept here. The background is very, very busy, which could be a distraction, but because there is a strong contrast in the blacks and the witch and the bright orange, this works. Now you can see here in the scarecrow where uh, better contrast in the pants but my um, shirt is starting to be pretty close in value. The only thing that saves the shirt is its dimensional, and that helps it pop. This is a good one for a study in value. Now this is a great block to help you understand the value. The dark background, a medium green for the leaves, and then the light flowers. And you can see how those flowers pop against the dark. Even though the, the yellow and the white are not a real strong contrast, they're enough, which breaks up the white. Um, the other 
thing that you want to think about in choosing your colors are the percentages of dark to light. You want a percentage of either one to be higher. So you don't want it all equal light and dark. You want some darks with light highlights. The lights usually move forward, the darks move back. Blues and cool colors move to the background and warms and lights move to the front. So that also helps in this block to help the, pow the flowers come forward. So that's another thing to consider when you're choosing your colors. I hope this little video has helped you. I'm going to do a few other videos explaining choices of fabrics in your quilts. Thanks for watching. Thank you.